MashaAllah. What a beautiful crowd. What a beautiful evening. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Ikna, I have a message for you. You have done it again. You have brought the community together again. You have shown our strength in numbers again. And you are showing that you will lead the path for the Muslim Ummah in North America again. I congratulate you on this wonderful conference and this beautiful gathering of Muslims coming to serve our Lord. My dear brothers and sisters, when the pandemic began in February or March of 2020, it seemed like the world was coming to a halt. Flights were downed, traffic was almost non-existent, factories and industries were closing, shipping lanes were shut down, our workplaces were closed, our mosques and our places of worship were also closed. For the first time, it felt like Allah truly had suspended life. I remember a very devastating image that Time Magazine had put up with a picture of the globe and a big closed sign on it. But one thing that did not stop during the pandemic was occupation, war, and oppression. The powers of evil and injustice continued. The suffering of Muslims around the world not only continued but was exacerbated during this period of the coronavirus pandemic. We saw what was taking place in East Turkestan with the erasure of the Muslim people of China. We continue to see what is taking place in Burma and the Rohingya people. We now see the devastating effects of Hindu nationalism and its impact on the Muslims of India and it's of course its occupation of Kashmir. We see the devastating results of imperialism, warmongering and colonialism around the world. But with that we also see the rise of Muslims around the world challenging this oppression, resisting occupation and settler colonialism. We see our brothers and sisters in Palestine today rise up to the occasion as the last bastion of hope, the last line of defense for the Muslim Ummah, in defense of our most beloved Masjid Al-Aqsa, as a brutal and vicious military occupation seeks to permanently change. Masjid Al-Aqsa and the Muslim nature of Jerusalem. We see our brothers and sisters in Gaza today steadfastly resisting an army much more capable. An army capable of devastating not just Gaza and Palestine, but capable of destroying the entire region. We see a people who are resolutely firm in their belief that so long as they continue to exist, so long as they continue to resist that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give them victory. And we also believe that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give us victory. But the victory of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not come with us sitting down twiddling our fingers, watching Al Jazeera crying. The victory of Allah comes when the agents of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's justice act to end the injustice. <clears throat> My dear brothers and sisters, we are gathered here this weekend so that we can build and develop our connection to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through spiritual messages and development. This is incredible. This is something that we must do. It is incumbent upon every Muslim. But we must also remember that our spiritual development and change does not only come through acts of prayer. 
our spiritual development and change comes through acts of enjoining the good and forbidding the evil. That when we take all the lessons learned this weekend, we must feel the need and desire to act against our enemies, to act against our occupiers and act against our oppressors. Because it is through that struggle that we will build spiritual strength. It is through that struggle that we will gain spiritual enlightenment. And it is through that struggle that we will build a stronger connection to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. My dear brothers and sisters at American Muslims for Palestine, we have seen all of you over the past two years from last summer's engagements in Palestine and what was taking place to this summer's actions, brutal murder of Shirin Abu Akla, the journalist, and the ethnic cleansing of Jerusalem and the attacks on Gaza and the destruction and demolition of Palestinian homes and the erasure, of Palestinian, the erasure of Palestinian society, we have seen you all stand and take action. And that is what gives us strength. That is what gives us hope. <coughs> that as the Muslim community in America builds its power, we will take our politics and our support for Palestine with us. Even though we see leaders around the world Capitulating, suppressing, succumbing to the pressures of the global powers, normalizing relations with our enemies. We see Muslims in America standing firmly for justice. We see Muslims in America using their political platforms to speak for Palestine, using any platform they have to speak for justice for the Palestinian people. This is what gives us hope. This is what gives us strength. And this is what ultimately will bring the justice and the victory from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I thank you for continuing your work and I thank you for continuing to support organizations like ours. We aren't always the best prepared and we aren't always the most equipped. But we do have the barakah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by our side in all the work that we do. And we do need to continue to enhance our efforts for justice in Palestine because we cannot overestimate the power of our enemies and underestimate the power of Allah. Continue to make dua and continue to take action. Jazakumullah khairan.